From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. The special state Senate committee looking into an incident by Senator Julie Fry Mueller with a state employee recommends the Rapid City Republican be censured and reinstated. The Senate Select Committee on Discipline and Expulsion met for nearly four hours Tuesday evening. In addition to censure and reinstatement, Senator Fry Mueller would be banned from working with the Legislative Research Council. The state employee works for the LRC and assists legislators in drafting bills and resolutions. The committee voted to have LRC staff draft the recommendation, which the Select Committee is scheduled to consider Wednesday at noon. Meanwhile, a federal judge denied Senator Fry Mueller's motion to pause the pending disciplinary proceedings against her. Judge Roberto Lang ruled that the relief she was actually asking for was a restraining order without notice to Senate President Pro Tem Lee Schoenbeck. Judge Lang said there was no indication that Senator Fry Mueller's attorney, former Representative Stephen Hogard, had attempted to notify Schoenbeck that Fry Mueller was seeking judicial relief. Judge Lang ordered Hogard to email a copy of the proceedings to Senator Schoenbeck and for them to schedule a hearing on the preliminary injunction on February 7th or February 10th. In other news out of Pierre, Republican State Representative Bethany Soy's bill that would restrict health care to transgendered individuals below the age of 18 passed through a House Committee on Health and Human Services Tuesday morning with a dominant vote, joining at least 18 other states with similar legislation. Soy raised this bill as a matter of consent. Testimonies in support of the bill argued transgendered surgeries were regrettable decisions made as teens or early adults, harmful medical experiments, or unethical cures to gender dysphoria that should be left to normal. Opponents criticized the bill on the grounds of civil rights infringements and overreach into personal health care decisions. In national and international news, inflation is cooling and parts of the economy appear to be weakening, but Fed Chair Jerome Powell is likely Wednesday to underscore that the Federal Reserve's primary focus remains the need to fight surging prices with still higher interest rates. With markets anticipating that the Fed will stop raising rates soon and possibly even cut them later this year, analysts say Powell will need to push back against such optimism. Powell's tough message will likely emerge at a news conference after the Fed's policy committee announces its latest action. The policymakers are set to raise their benchmark rate by a quarter point to its highest level in about 15 years. Nikki Haley is moving closer to making her presidential campaign official. On Wednesday, supporters of the former South Carolina governor will get an email invitation to a February 15th launch event in Charleston, at which she plans to announce her campaign, according to a person familiar with the plans but not authorized to speak about them. Haley was elected to two terms as a South Carolina governor before Donald Trump tapped her to serve in his cabinet. Haley at times feuded with other White House officials. Her 2018 departure fueled speculation that she would challenge Trump in 2020, or replace Vice President Mike Pence on the ticket, but Haley did neither. Now the latest on the war in Ukraine. Ukrainian officials say Russia is mustering its military might in the Luhansk region of Ukraine in what Kyiv suspects is preparation for an offensive in the eastern area in the coming weeks as the one-year anniversary of Moscow's invasion approaches. The Luhansk region's governor said Wednesday that the Kremlin forces are expelling local residents from their homes near the Russian-held parts of the front line so that they cannot provide information about Russian troop deployments to Ukrainian artillery. Military analysts anticipate a fresh push soon by Moscow's forces. The Institute for the Study of War says in an assessment that an imminent Russian offensive in the coming months is the most likely course of action. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Sunny and breezy with a high of 41. Low tonight, 19. And that was your Daily Slice for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose. Executive producer Mark Houston. Engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.